Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we are here at Some Burger. We got a bag of food. We got the breakfast burger this morning. Let's see if I, I can show you the front of the, the restaurant here. Had pretty good ratings on Google. As I said, we got the breakfast burger. It's a little bit interesting. They actually put french fries on the burger. Not only that, they cooked the french fries on the flat top. They didn't cook them in the deep fryer that they had there. They obviously cooked the french fries when you're just going to eat the french fries in the deep fryer. I don't know, maybe the deep fryer wasn't heated up yet. But uh, we're going to see how this is. Let's go in the car. And I'll show you guys the food. We'll take a big bite. Alright. Let's open this thing up. They put mustard and mayonnaise on it, which I'm not really a big fan of mustard on a burger. So I asked them not to put the mustard on there. Uh, and I got some ketchup, but I'm going to take a bite without the ketchup because I like to do that. That's kind of my trademark, I guess. I get this turned into my trademark. I want to try the food. So let's take a look. Let's see if I can show you this right here. There's the burger. You can see the french fries on the burger. So let's give it a, a taste like this. As I said, this is the breakfast burger. So I had the burger patty, a fried egg, bacon, cheese, mayonnaise, and the french fries. All right, let's give this a shot. French fries on the flat top are a little different. I don't know if they always do that. When they're putting it on the burger, but there's pretty good actually. So let's give it a try. Very nice. Bacon is nice and crunchy. The egg just gives it a little creamy flavor, which I love. I love an egg on a burger. That's freaking awesome. The bun is actually really good as well. It didn't look so hot. So I was kind of thinking I might not even eat the bun. Especially since I'm trying to do this carnivore diet thing. But the bun is really good. It's really light. Really light and fluffy. Alright, let's gonna try it. With a little ketchup. Because, you know, french fries, burger... Breakfast sandwich, ketchup is almost mandatory. Very good, that's a very good burger. The bun to meat ratio is a little bit low could be a little more meat for the size of the bun. But then when you add the egg and the bacon. And the fact that, once again, that the bun is really just light and fluffy. Um, it's a little different, and I like it. So, yeah, you know, as far as a burger goes, I don't know if we should define breakfast burgers from regular burgers. I don't think we should. I think we just should go burgers across the board, whether it's breakfast burger or a lunch burger or a dinner burger. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give this a pretty good rating. I'm going to go... Eh, maybe I should take one more bite. Hang on a second here. A little more ketchup. These french fries on the grill. Only thing wrong with them is that they, it's actually still really good, even though it's a little unevenly cooked. I almost forgot. 
they put grilled onions on there as well. They actually grill the onions as the burger was cooking. They didn't just have a bunch of grilled onions sitting off the side. They slop on there. They put the burger down, put the onions down, put the french fries down on the flat top. Cooked them all at the same time. Put the bun down. Fried bun as well, which is, of course I love. So yeah, we're going to give this burger a 7-7. Seven, seven. Mainly, I mean, the insides are really good, but that I really like that bun. I rate that light, fluffy, um, unique. I'm going to call it unique bun. So once again, we are at Psalm Burger here in... Houston, Texas. It's really nice inside as well. A lot of wood, kind of an old burger joint vibe in there. It's really good. So, if you like the, the video, don't forget to drop a like on the video. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know where your favorite burger is. Maybe I'll, I'll check out your restaurant if I come to your town or if it's a national chain. I'll check it out where I live if they have them in my area. So we'll see you next time.